हेलो देर वंस अगेन थैंक यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोमेंट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो आज वी आर गोइंग टू कस्टमाइज एंड पेंट दिस वुडन ब्लॉक एंड दिस पीकॉक की होल्डर इज इंट इट ब्यूटिफुल क्रेव्ड विद एक्यूरेट लवली डिजाइन जस्ट लाइक मधुबनी आर्ट हेंस प्लान टू कस्टमाइज दीज टू विद द ब्यूटिफुल इंडियन ट्रेडिशनल आर्ट दैट इज मधुबनी आर्ट एट फर्स्ट Let's start with the block. Using as usual fabricrel molded clay, we'll knead both the compounds very properly in a soft soft dough. As you can see, I have simply sketched the outline of swans on all the four sides. After my compounds are kneaded properly, I'll start kneading and molding the swan. I'll cut it into four parts: head, neck, body and beak. So we'll knead all to accurate size and stick on the wooden block using fabricol. then we'll keep it aside to dry completely there they are sticked dried and hardened completely before starting the painting you know the drill yes applying gesso fada fat se i'll apply gesso to both the wooden pieces After the gesso is dried completely and we get a smooth texture of the wooden blocks, I'll start painting the peacock first. Starting with the base, applying light blue here, and then I'll add yellow to the same blue to get a green shade, which I'll apply to the tail. Informing you one thing, I'm going to use only three primary colors of acrylic paints that are blue, red, and yellow. and i'll be using black and white for some tints and shades you will be totally surprised with the number of colors we will be creating so do watch it till the end so for the portion we are seeing on the blue part i'll paint it using shades of orange and yellow i'll create orange by adding red to yellow acrylic paint and to the elements we are seeing on the green part I'll add shades of red by adding black and white so that it creates a brown shade or pink shade which will be suitable to the green background. Beautiful. So for this part, I'll paint yellow for the base. and create pretty pink flowers on the top so i will add the textures and some patterns at the end to give it a madhubani look so madhubani art is one of the most famous indian art forms it is usually practiced in mithila region of bihar and nepal and hence was also originated in the mithila region this art form is very detailed filled with geometrical patterns which beautify the painting so yeah I'll try creating it on these two wooden pieces. After my complete base is ready, let's give a madhubani touch. So using a small round tip brush and black paint, main sare elements ko outline karungi. I will also add random textures and patterns in the places where it is needed. Outlining a thing adds so much attractiveness to the art. Isn't it? I just love it. So tada, first piece is ready pretty isn't it now for the second one i created these random lines on this one starting with water we'll apply blue then using white acrylic paint i'll create such minute concentric circles after this is done i'll paint the sky to all the four sides using light blue shade so the main theme of madhubani art are religion social science and elements of nature hence for this video i chose the third theme that is elements of nature birds peacock and swan 
Generally, you'll see mythological figures and scenes in the huge paintings. This is the uniqueness of this art. It sticks to the mythology and tradition. So there it is. Sweet and simple till now. But let's now add the Madhuvani touch. Since this is a swan and will of course have feathers, I will try to create it by painting yellow and red alternatively just like this. Kafi mehnat lagegi but it will be totally worth it. And then, fata fat se me swan ke baki body parts ko bhi paint karungi and outline the elements with black paint at the end. Well, aap log soch rahe honge ki di swan to completely white hota hai, then why colors? Oh come on, yehi to khas baat hai Madhupani paintings ki. In this, we create 2D forms of element and using various colors so that our story and theme is reached in a very beautiful manner to the audience. After all, jitne jada colors, artwork utna hi attractive. Right? Reminding you all, I have used only 5 colors in today's video. And yet, look how colorful these pieces have turned out to be. So these two pieces took me 4 hours each to complete but I totally loved the result of both of them. Do comment down which one did you like the most. There it is, a successful customized wooden pieces using Madhubani art. Like the video if you loved my artwork, share it with at least one friend and subscribe for such videos. Arigato gozaimasu!